guys, hope you're well. So I'm gonna do a random video today. I think I've done one of these before, um, but I thought I'd do it again. It's a kind of showing you the food that I bought this week. Um, I tend to be a little bit boring and go for the same sort of thing really, but when I get something a bit different um, and hopefully I think reasonably healthy um, I like to share that with you and seeing as I've not done a video in a few weeks which I am very sorry about um, that I promise you there are a couple more videos after this on the way um, so yeah I'm gonna show you the groceries that I bought they were already in the fridge uh, so I am gonna show you them more or less in the fridge um, because <laughs> I don't want any of them like going off or anything like that especially the couple of things that are actually in the freezer that I'm going to show you so I took a trip to Waitrose and um, a couple of these sort of things you can find in any standard supermarket so we've got We'll start with the drinks. So we've got a elderflower presse, which is so sweet and so refreshing. I love it. So yeah, we've got elderflower presse, which again, you can buy in any supermarket, but I just happen to have mine in Waitrose. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I have not seen these in Morrison's and I saw it in Waitrose unless it's like a limited edition or I have been completely blind um, it's the pink grapefruit presse I've not seen them before and it sounds delicious so I'm actually going to have a glass of that and then I got a couple of innocent smoothies this one I don't think I've heard of yet um, whether it's limited edition, I'm not sure. They normally do um, raspberry and lime or apple, um, but I don't think they've ever done a watermelon one with it. So I was intrigued to try that for a little smoothie in the morning. Bit of apple juice. <laughs> and cranberry. I My favourite cranberry juice is actually the Cranberry Classic. I normally get the bottle, but when I take a pat lunch to work, I... Um, tend to find these a little bit easier and more apple juice <laughs> and this one is another one that I think I have actually heard of before but never tried it it's the orange and carrot so there we go and obviously milk for my teas and coffees and cereal etc and Again, this I never normally see. Obviously, I've seen um, Coca-Cola with the lime and like Coca-Cola with obviously cherry Coke, but I don't think I've ever seen the raspberry one, to be fair. So I thought I'd give that a little try. Um, so now on to food. So I've got some salad bits to obviously accompany with the main sort of dishes. I've got like runner beans and uh, broccoli. Uh, they're in like mini packets just because, as you know, it is only me that's here. And they were buy any three for two fifty. Um, so I don't really need a big portion of vegetables. Um, so these little packets seemed really cute and perfect and they seemed to last quite a few days so that was again perfect and yeah just some garden peas um, and this is an interesting looking salad that I spotted that is tender stem and butternut layers and I'm guessing it's just a standard salad with carrot, butternut squash that sort of stuff, I'm guessing, <laughs> could be wrong. Uh, and this one is a avocado and feta side salad. So that sounds really, really nice. Just, you know, just little salad -y bits to accompany. You know, making sure I get my, green, my greens in there somewhere. <laughs> 
Um, so this one I think is what I'm going to have tonight, judging by the date. I think it was this one. Um, so this is the chicken and bacon pancakes. Um, I don't think they are actual like pancakes. I think it's just another way for them to say that it's basically chicken and bacon in pastry. And I think I'm going to have the avocado salad with it um, because chicken, bacon and avocado are a classic combo. So I think I might give that a try tonight. And then the other things I've bought, again a bit of a pastry week this week, not going to lie. Uh, I promise this is not a normal <laughs> food shop for me, which is hence why I'm filming it. Um, and this is minced beef and red wine en croute. So there we are. They just looked really good in the picture, so I was like, I'll try it. <laughs> and I think this is where I actually got the idea of butternut squash from. This ravioli, because hands down my favourite dishes are pasta dishes. Not going to lie, again, a little bit carby, but oh well. <laughs> Um, so yeah, butternut squash and sage ravioli. There we are. And the other one is, I'm not having these raviolis um, in the same week, if that makes sense. So I'm not having two pasta dishes in one go. And this is sausage and cheese ravioli, basically. <laughs> um so yeah, those are my, f what's in my fridge, <laughs> oh and these are just like my lunches really, um, there's like prawn crystal rolls, so a bit of a Thai thing going on, um, coconut chunks, and um, katsu chicken bites, I've had these before and they were delicious so I recommend them and got carrots, little carrots with a reduced fat hummus dip and mango And Spanish style chicken kebabs. So these are just cute, nice little nibbly bits for my lunches at work. And I do treat myself, especially if they last a long day, these are so good. I promise I don't, I swear, I don't have them every week or anything like that. But every now and then, and they do last long, um, I treat myself to these little goo puddings. They are so good. And this is actually new. It's chocolate and coconut flavour. So that sounds amazing. I actually have a chocolate and coconut tea. Uh, so I'm going to definitely have one of those puddings whilst drinking my chocolate and coconut tea. Heck yes. <laughs> and the other one is... You have to have them hot. They're like, basically, yeah, they're chocolate souffles. Crackling hot chocolate souffles. Delicious. And also, this one's actually new, I think. It's key lime, if I can get it out. <laughs> oh, I spent quite a while organising this on, like, Sunday, and now I have to kind of more or less undo to try and get a couple of bits out to show you. <laughs> Um, so yeah, this is the key lime pie goo, and I think I saw something underneath the prawns just then. Ah yes, it's the tomato and mozzarella pasta. So there we go, that's pretty much everything that's in my fridge. Um, tell me if you want me to do more of these kind of videos. I just figured I haven't in a while 
and I don't normally go to Waitrose and buy these sort of stuff so I thought why not um, and I will just quickly show you my freezer stuff um, so I've got a couple of lasagnas for just um, for a rainy day as it were um, so they're homemade so they are healthy properly homemade prepared and stuff they're just frozen for another day um, and this is chicken tikka burgers they looked very very interesting so I've frozen them and then I've just got a couple of pizzas one that's um, just like mozzarella and normal margarita and then one that has like pepperoni, salami and I did forget one thing in my lunches to show you which I thought looked really nice and really cute oh those are Greek style yogurts by the way Muller light mango and passion fruit um, but that wasn't the one I was going to show you <laughs> um, this one actually I just thought looked really really cute it's Morello cherry and almond tart so yeah just looked really really yummy so yeah like I said don't do it every week I just wanted to treat myself to a few little bits from Waitrose and like I said I haven't done a video in a while so yeah um, I hope you enjoyed this random little video back at my flat once again as per usual um, and on my own tonight as per usual um, and bored and just felt like, bil felt like filming um, so I promise there are definitely a couple more videos um, on their way to you in the next couple of weeks. I know I've said that a couple of times before, but I mean it. <laughs> um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this random chilled little video. Um, and I will see you soon with another one. If you did like this, you know what to do. Give it a little like and subscribe. Please subscribe. It means the world to me and really helps me out and yeah so i'll see you soon with another video i hope you've had a lovely start to the week and yeah love you lots bye